All right, so we have a 1.5 kilogram toy motorcycle is moving on the inside of a vertical circular track, R equals 1.0 meters. It arrives at the top of the track with a speed of 5.0 meters per second. What force does the track exert on the motorcycle? All right, so let's draw our usual diagram. Uh, let's, let's see. and it seems that the motorcycle is at the top of the track, right? Um, and let's say let's, let's put this as a middle. This is R. R is one meter. Okay. All right. So we know V equals five m equals 1.5 and our r equals 1. Alright, so let's draw a free body diagram because we are dealing with forces this time. And since that motorcycle is at the top of the track, uh, let's visualize that this is the track and this is my motorcycle. Alright, so what are the forces um, concerning this motorcycle? Okay, so one force gravity of course and our normal force because normal force is always perpendicular to your surface all right sure we might have sure we may have uh, friction but we aren't really dealing with it because it says the vertical circular track. So we're not really dealing with, with friction because it, what it happens is, uh, you could picture it like this. Uh, it's basically, this, this motorcycle is going up and up and up and up, around and around, and it's not really moving to the left or right. So we can basically disregard the friction for now. Alright, so let's set up our equation. So we know that our centripetal force must equal our normal force plus our gravity because what happens is we have a uh, force of gravity and your normal force that's pointing towards our center and that's how we get centripetal force. All right, so our centripetal force equation is mv squared over r equals normal force plus mg. Now you might be wondering, hey, why isn't normal force uh, the same as mg? Well, but since our normal force is not like, if our normal force was like this, Well, if it was like this, then yes, we could assume that it is it is uh, the same thing as our um, force of gravity, but it's not because it has to be perpendicular to the surface. This is our surface. This is not our surface. So you could be like, okay, this is this is this is our usual free body diagram if we were on the ground on the ground. All right. In this case, yes. Uh, for our normal force would equal to the force of gravity, but in this case, no. It sits on, it sits on the top of the track, it's not. So, let's cross this out. Alright. So, what happens is we don't know our normal force. So, let's, so all we can do is just find, find it, basically. So, mv squared over r minus mg equals our normal force. And we just plug in our mass, velocity, and and such. So, to get our normal force, so it would look like 1.5 times 5 squared over 1 minus 1.5 times 9.8, since we are on the Earth, <laughs> equals your normal force. And, and for normal force, we should get 
22.8 newtons. And that's how you saw for the force, the normal force. So basically, our force is our normal force. It's 22.8 newtons. It's um, the track exerts uh, a force of 22.8 onto this motorcycle. That's it. Hope I didn't confuse you guys too much.